Hi everybody. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I'm looking down. <laughs> Just trying to make sure my camera's on. You guys, it's me Tess with Tess Loves the Sharn. And you guys, today I'm here to show you the difference between an item I made with the Centro knitting machine and the same item I made with the same yarn on the Addy Express knitting machine okay so if you guys are new to my channel um, I do have to mention there is a postman saga going on here okay um, the other thing going on here is I just had a complete shoulder replacement two weeks ago I can't believe it's been two weeks but it has it's been two weeks now and I have this brand new shoulder um, this one my right shoulder it's healing up quite nicely I got a nice big scar here but um yeah I'm taking pain medication obviously so hopefully I don't say anything too crazy because <laughs> you know I keep it real right me I'm the queen of real so yeah hopefully um, I'm not too whacked out but you know I take pain medication um, on a daily basis I mean I have RA and I have fibromyalgia and both of those give me a lot of pain um, which I I don't talk about very much um, here on my yarny channel because this is my little happy place so I like to keep it happy uh, most of the time I keep it real but I also like to keep it happy so yeah so just um, for all of my YouTube family out there you guys that um, know me and that you guys are my friends you know um, you know I've had a really uh, hard past few months with this uh, shoulder so yeah I, I'm in pain and I'm taking extra, extra pain medication but everything is going great I just saw my surgeon for my post-op uh, follow-up and he took x-rays and of course examined me and he said everything looked great so yay <laughs> so I'm super happy about that so that's just my little follow-up with my shoulder now the postman saga oh lord lordy 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 that's a whole nother thing right and uh i'm not gonna go into it on this video but be tuned in for future videos about the postman saga it gets better okay so a little drink of my coffee here mm. i do love my coffee um all right so first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the machines and I'm going to do that the best I can with one arm. Okay, so this is what the Centro looks like. Centro knitting machine. Hope you all can see that. <laughs> all right. Uh, I feel like... Uh, Oh, who do you, like Zeus or somebody like carrying this huge load on my shoulder. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was random. Okay. So here we go. And the Addy. The Addy Express knitting machine. Now, as you guys all know, uh, in the U.S., we just had Mother's Day. It was on uh, May the 8th, and I was actually in the hospital from having my shoulder surgery. So what uh, happened is my husband and my kids, my, um, my youngest and my oldest child, because, you know, Wonder Boy is different, right? He's, uh, yeah. He's almost, he's like Mary Poppins. He's almost perfect. He's like 99.9% .9 perfect, like Mary Poppins, right? So that's Wonder Boy. 
But my other two children and my husband went in together and bought me this Addy Express. And I'll tell you why. You know, this machine usually goes for around $300, right? Um, sometimes it'll come down to about $250. And um, yeah, and that's way better than $300, right? But what happened, I had this saved in my wish list. Like, I put it in there like two years ago, right? Because I just thought this, I could whip out the knitted hats on a knitting machine way faster than I could hand knit. Because hand knitting a hat would take me about two hours, um, depending on the yarn. Like a chunky yarn, yeah, that's only about an hour, right? So depending on the yarn thickness, it would take me however long to make a hat. So I thought, I love donating, um, like to the homeless and things like that in the winter. Because here in the Midwest, like we have atrocious weather. In the winter, it can go down below zero. And in the summer, it can be above 100 degrees, right? Cray, cray, which, you know, I love spring and I love fall, right? Because I don't love the heat and I don't love below zero either. So, <laughs> my two favorite seasons, spring and fall. But uh, anyway, um, so that's why I had a knitting machine on my list, even though I knit. So, watching the Addy Express, the price just kept like dropping, 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 dropping. And it got all the way down to $169. Now, that's like a darn good price for an Addy knitting machine. $169. So, my husband and kids bought it for me. Long story short. So, now I had the Centro, which I got like a year and a half ago, for $50 on Amazon. Now, it was trending at about $65, and it went down to $50, and I got it for Christmas. So, that's why I have them both right now. But, what I want to show you is the results. And I'm sorry I didn't film, actually film myself doing this, but um, it was hard doing, like, I had to do everything with one arm, okay, my left arm. So... I had the machine on my desktop, and I laid my, um, my right arm on it, like, you know, just laid it on top to kind of, it's got suction cups on the bottom of the Centro, and then on the bottom of the Addy, um, the legs are just non-skid, and they work really well, but I laid this arm on top, and then I cranked with my left hand and I am not left-handed I am right-handed so I do have to throw that in there but I did each one exactly the same using the exact same yarn so the yarn I used was just my stripe by Lion Brand it's a worsted weight number four yarn and for a knitting needle it calls for a 4.5 millimeter and for a crochet hook, it calls for a five millimeter, okay? And this happens to be blue raspberry. That's the colorway, okay? And um, let's see, 177 yards in this, or 162 meters, if you're in any other country but the U.S. Everybody else uses the metric system. Don't ask me why we don't. Mm, don't know. Yeah. Never figured that out. But as an educator, we were supposed to teach our kids about the metric system, even though we don't use it in this country. Hmm, doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the yarn I used. <laughs> and these were the results I got. Okay, so this one, if you can see this piece right here, this was one, and I took it off the machine. I didn't try to shape it or anything. This is how it came off the machine. Okay, so when I did the bind off, this is what I got. Okay, right here. And then this is the other one. 
same thing did the bind off and this is how it came out of the machine okay just like this all right so can you guys guess which is which which project came off of which machine well I'm gonna tell you the very first one which is this one came off of the Centro yes the Centro knitting machine whoops and so what what I really wanted to show you about this um, it does not have the same consistency with um, the stitch like you guys can just see I mean you have eyes right you can see there are some issues I mean it's not perfect right there are some variations in stitch sizes um, which is obvious because it's the project itself is very wonky <laughs> Um, it's got some skipped stitches right here. You can tell all these stitches were dropped. The machine dropped them. So, yeah, right there. And just uh, overall, I mean, you can tell that um, this piece right here is not the same quality as this piece right here right so this was the centro yes which i i want to say something about this no i'm gonna hold that thought i'm gonna show you what the addy did first so this is what the addy did right here and uh you can tell there are no drop stitches no drop stitches anywhere in this. And uh, just looking at these um, stitches, they're very consistent. The stitches are very consistent. Same size. Look at that. Just really beautiful stitches. I mean, if you, if you look at it, ooh, which way do I go? Yeah. Right there, beautiful stitches. Okay, so this came off the Addy. All right. So, <laughs> what I want to say about these, obviously, the Addy produced a better product, right? Obviously, hands down, this is way better than this. You know, way better. But here, here's my, um, here's my thoughts on that. Um, this Centro was $50. Now, I'm not sure what it is today, but I'm going to tell you, you can definitely catch it for between $50 and maybe $70, right? So, affordability is definitely there, right? Now, if you can't knit at all, that's Thor. I'm sorry. Hi, puppy. Can somebody let Thor out? I'm sorry, everybody. Hello? I'm filming. Can somebody let Thor out? I'm so sorry, everybody. My big puppy, Thor, he needs to go outside. Thor, you need to go outside, puppy. He's wagging his tail. He's saying, yeah, 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 I need to go outside. Okay, because y'all know Thor is my fourth child, right? My fur baby. Okay, so getting back to these machines, what I want to say, if you don't know how to knit and you're just looking to make like hats or things like that to donate to charity, um, this Centro is perfect for that and the other thing I want to say keep in mind I did it one armed with my left arm and yes I did the same with the Addy and got a way different result but what I'm saying is I think the Centro 
could probably do a better job if you had two arms, right? So I don't want to discourage anybody from buying the Centro if that's what your budget dictates. I think the Centro could do a good job for you, okay? Especially if you're just doing hats and scarves, right? Um, however, if you want a better knitted pro uh, product, I definitely would recommend the Addy Express. And what I want to say about that, if the Addy is not in your budget, um, I think it's worth waiting for it you know i think it's worth putting money aside um however you put your money aside you know i know some people put it aside in envelopes like they'll they'll make an envelope and they'll say addy knitting machine and then every time you get some extra money you put it in that envelope right um uh, people you know people save money all different ways right <laughs> so um, what I'm just saying is, if you want to make sweaters and cardigans and everything that a knitting machine can do, I recommend saving your money and buying the Addy Express when you have enough money saved, okay? Um, the other thing is, keep put it, put it in your wish list at Amazon and keep watching it. Like, we were just... Uh, really amazed at how the price fell because that that hasn't happened for a while right so um that's how i got it it 169 dollars put put it in our budget for my mother's day gift okay so i do highly recommend the addy but there's nothing wrong with having a centro so i want to say that okay um, yeah, I don't want to like harp on it, but you know, there, there was a time when I couldn't, could never have gotten an Addy, right? I mean, we're all at different places financially. Yeah. Especially you younger, um, people out there. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I honestly don't know how you make it sometimes with the way prices have gone up with things. Just crazy crazy right so anyway co coming back to what I wanted to talk about was yeah sit down and think about what you want your knitting machine to do and then make that decision you know centro and and I mean the money you're going to spend on a centro is way less than what you're going to spend on an addy so try to think of, you know, are you really going to use the machine? Are you really going to need the best? Because the Addy is the best. Or would something that's good, which is the Centro, and a lot less expensive uh, work out for me? That's what you have to think about and kind of decide, okay? So anyway, I'm going to leave it with that and... Once again, Centro. And you know, look, if you do it like this, that's like a hat, right? And then you'd like cinch it up at the top. But I mean, yeah, you could definitely make hats with the Centro. Um, you know, and then here's the, here's the Addy. So yeah, hands down, you look at these two and you go, well, Gee whiz, that Addy's the best, right? But um, you have to think about what you're going to use it for and how you're going to use it. And then decide, is it worth the money or not for you and your family, right? Because what it comes down to is, are you going to use it? And do you have a place to put it? I'm so serious about that, you guys. If you don't have a place to put it, don't even be thinking about getting it because... <laughs> You got to be able to put it somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, that's my video for today. I, I know this was a little bit different of a video than, like, most of my videos because normally I do a lot of chit-chat. And, obviously, today I didn't do a lot of chit-chat. But, I'm still on um, some pretty good 
pain medicines and I'm doing this continuous motion machine like I'm gonna leave um, like after I'm done with this video and I got to get on the machine and what it does is it moves my arm up and down up and down <laughs> and I just kind of sit there while it moves so it's like passive exercise for my arm which is really really good and uh, not next week, but the week after I start physical therapy. So I'll be going to see my wonderful physical therapist, um, I think twice a week for eight to ten weeks. So, yeah, for a while. For like about three months, I think. But anyway, um, that's what I'm doing. And um, sorry, I haven't been up to doing a live, you guys. That's just like, yeah, because I'm not sleeping well at night because I'm a side sleeper. And obviously I can't sleep on my new shoulder yet. Not for six weeks. So I'm not sleeping well, <laughs> which is just another thing, right? But oh, you guys. I wanted to say, um, I did get, and I have to point this out, um, I got, uh, two, two get well cards. Um, one is from Amelia, Amelia, and this is the card that Amelia sent me, and I love birds, Amelia, so I don't know how you knew that, but beautiful gorgeous and actually i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it in one of my journals because i really love this card so much and then um also tia tia hill girl i do not know how you even decided on this card look you guys it's snoopy do you know my very first stuffed animal i ever had and that I had until I was like, well, literally, I still have it. It's a stuffed Snoopy dog. And I still have this Snoopy dog that I have had since I was a little kid. I mean, I think I got, I got the little Snoopy dog when I was like five or six. And I, I still have it. He's packed away. But yeah, so Tia sent me this. And when I opened it and I saw the Snoopy, I was like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Snoopy, Snoopy. So yeah. So Tia, thank you, dear. This is also going to go into my uh, saved cards pile. So love that Snoopy. And um, you guys, I always save special cards. And um, if you send a card to me, I'm totally going to save it because... You guys are just so sweet, and you're all so special, and I appreciate you, and I really, I really do appreciate um, Amelia and Tia for the uh, Get Well cards. That was super sweet, totally unexpected, so thank you, ladies. You know, you guys, um, my YouTube family, all of you guys that are subscribed to me, you're my YouTube family, and um, you guys, it's like you guys know me, and um, I just love you all so much, and I, I just feel very blessed to have all of you, and I wanted to say that on this little video, um, just because I don't know if I've said it lately or not. So yeah, I love you guys all, like, way much, and I appreciate you. And thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope that I put, put this in perspective for you uh, if you're thinking about getting a knitting machine, okay? Because that's not an easy decision, right? And you guys, what I want to do is I want to let you know I'm having a giveaway. And guess what the giveaway is for? It's for my Centro. Now, yes, I've used it a couple of times, so it's not brand new. But I, I've only used it a few times. And I would be happy to bless one of you with the Centro now that I have the Addy. So I don't need the Centro anymore. 
and um, I would love to um, give it to someone who thinks they would use it. So more on this giveaway soon, okay? So stay tuned and I will put up the um, info for the Centro giveaway. All right? <laughs> okay, so everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. And, um, you know, as always, be kind and be safe out there in the world no matter where you are. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Uh.